trust in the lord and do good so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart commit thy way unto the lord trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass all right folks um a little disappointed because i got to the last frame and saw this that split that's a bad place for it to be split if you don't use it too because the first time you try to pry it open it's going to break off i thought well i got some other frames which I do have, and they're super frames. So I said, you know, I'll just swap one out. Well, the frames that I have are wedge-type frames. And as you can see, they're narrower than these. So now, I have two pieces and a top bar that I can't use. However, the bottom bar fits. It's tight, but it fits. So, we're going to go away with it anyways. Oh, I see one of my You'll notice also that uh, wedge frames, they have a little uh, second cut right there instead of just being flat and down. And what the wedge fr frames are, as opposed to non-wedge frame. This is a non-wedge frame. The one on the left. See how it doesn't have a cut right there? My wife will quit moving the camera. And now, this is a wedge frame. You can pop that a loose. And either stick it in here for the bees to start without foundation or pin a foundation across our starter strip. You can see the other side does not have a cut. This side does not have a cut either. That's the difference. I prefer wedge frames because you can use wedge, wedge, frame, wedge frames with both. Now, like I, said, I don't like the plastic foundation. Bees don't like it, but it came with it, so I'm going to try to use it. They'll use it, they just prefer beeswax. But it's pretty simple. You just pop your end pieces on. Now this is your I can flip it over. This is your top bar. And these are your ends. End bars or ends. And then this is your bottom bar. And you want to make sure it gets started in that groove. And you just push it together. You can put monofilament and all that good stuff in there if you want to. I'm not. Alright, so we got to nail them together. Those are the nails they suggest you to use with this kit. I have a video of doing this with wooden dowels or toothpicks. get it started and you want to get I don't know how well you can see it you want to try to get in that meaty part of the wood because it's got a gap right there you also want to look and make sure you're not going to split out the side here or the side on this side or this side once you got that done you hammer it down and as you can see it split the wood that doesn't matter though. It still holds pretty strong. Then they say get another one. And put it in there. And you got two. Flip it around.
more in the top. Whoops. Um, the reason why they tell you to do this is not the strongest place to nail because enough, enough pressure on it. frame breaks most likely it'll break off that little bit right there because the bees when you have two nails split out on that one when you have two sitting there like this the bees will glue it together and then when you stick your little tool in there pry them apart what happens is generally that wood splits off so this part right here is left on this one. So you have to fix it. Well, to fix it, you gotta pull it apart. And basically what you wanna do is, it takes a good little grip to do it, but you can press and press and press and even pull a little bit down here and what it'll do is the nails will come off and you can pull them nails off, put you another piece in there and squeeze it back together. That's how to put a frame together. Uh, if you notice, this one's pretty tight. There it goes. Now it's just starting to loosen up. This one's this one's a little bit tighter, and this is the wedge frame. No, there it goes again. I guess not. I don't know. I just don't like the plastic. And there's, uh, there's a guy I watch on YouTube, uh, Jeff Harrett from uh, Australia. He's got a pretty good size apiary and he puts some uh, plastic frame, plastic foundation in there. And they build on it, but you could tell they didn't like it because he put it in the middle and then they went on the other side of the frames and everything. So, But that's how to do it. And you just repeat that process 20 times. Alright folks, sorry about that. My camera cut off. Um, these are the nails that you're going to use for the side sides to nail them on. Then you're going to finally get to use these long ones. And those are for the, uh, the back the top, uh, what do they call it, the top cleat, and then I said use the same size nails for your bottom cleat, but I went ahead and used the little ones, because that's how far in they went to the other side, and if I use these, they go all the way through, so I guess I could have used the other little ones that I had, but I decided to just use those. Uh, but that's how to put in, put together the bottom board. Uh, it's fairly easy, not too hard. And this will be the actual part that's facing the bees. And your high, your supers and hive and all that go over and stack up on that. Uh, have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And as always, see you on the next one.